I got a special one today. I'm back at it. Just watched uh, a new Netflix original movie called Little Evil. All right. This movie is categorized as being a horror comedy film. Uh, and it stars, I, I'm going to fuck her name up, but it's Eva Angeline Lilly and Adam Scott. All right. So basically, this movie is about a couple. Um, well, actually, this guy, he just gets married to this woman. She got a little weird ass kid that basically people think is possessed by the devil or is like the antichrist or whatever so the whole movie is basically the interaction between uh the stepfather and his new stepson and trying to figure out uh why is the kid like a real antichrist and why the hell is he so weird and can this relationship work between uh the the new stepdad and the mom right so um the storyline is very clean cut, you know what I mean? I like it. It's, it's real simple. Um, but the thing is, the horror comedy part of it, it's, um, it's not really scary at all. So when you put the word horror, you know, but then you follow by comedy, I guess that's how you can justify it. But it's not really, to me, like... Um, Scary movie, you know, starring the Wayans, uh, Wayne Brothers a long time ago. Uh, like, that's kind of like a horror comedy where it's somewhat kind of scary, but in a funny way. But this had a couple little scenes in it. Like, they made the little boy's voice in a couple scenes. Like, when he was in front of it, the, there's a scene where he's in front of it, like this TV where the stepdad comes in to try to have a talk, a heart, you know, a heart to heart conversation. And the little boy is like in front of the, the TV. And he asked him a question, but the boy talks in like a demonic voice, like, get out, get out. Right? So I thought that was kind of, that was kind of cool, you know what I'm saying? But if anything, like, that was like the scariest part of the movie, if you, you know, whatever. Um, but it was mainly on the comedy side of things. You pretty much damn near could have left off the horror, but uh, it was a comedy. But the comedy was, it was just, I can't explain it. It was just, uh real, I won't call it dry, yeah, it was kind of dry comedy, you know what I'm saying, it didn't have you, like, rolling around laughing and pissing on yourself, but I thought, I liked it, it was just like that, that dry, you know, kind of subtle, smooth comedy, and the one dude who plays the stepdad's uh, friend, his co-worker, the big dude with, the, like, the blonde hair, his character's funny as fuck, like, he's, he's, I, I ain't get his name, but... He was funny. Like, to me, he really, like, uh, I don't want to say carried the movie, but to me, he was a prominent character in the movie. I think he, he really made the movie uh, uh, pretty decent. Um, even with the lead character, the Adam Scott character, he was good in the movie. Um, the little boy in the movie, I think they could, in my opinion, have him do a little more, like a little more interaction uh, throughout the movie. Maybe even have him do some more shit you know, to, to, to show that he's, like, more of the, uh, like, the Antichrist or whatever. Um, but the storyline was kind of, it, it was cool. It was, like, had a little originality to it. Um, the acting in it was good. Uh, they had some cool cameos, like, well, Donald Faison was in it. And not even really a cameo. I mean, he was in it, um, several scenes. Um, that comedian, uh, Chris, I don't forget his last name, D Delia, I think it's Chris Delia, uh, and somebody else was in it, damn it, I forget, but anyway, it was a nice little cast, um, it's, you know, simple movie, uh, the ending of it was, you know, nothing special to it at all, it wasn't like no, oh, you know, nothing special, uh, it was cool that it was like, they live happily ever after, it was pretty much, I don't even know what it, the mo this movie rated, but, uh, I mean, it was, like I said, it was, it was clean cut, you know, um, overall, I got to get this one. I'm going to give it a three out of five, right? Could have been a two, but I'm judging it off of this day and age. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't comparing it to to a, a scary movie one and two back in the day. Like, when you look at how, you know, shitty a lot of these new movies are, like, this movie's cool. You can watch it. Um, you're not going to watch it and be like, fuck, that was whack. It's not really low budget. It's 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 cool. But don't think you, your ass going to get scared. Don't come in it like, oh, it's a horror comedy. Oh, this might, no, you, it's not scary, right? 
So I give it a I give it a nice simple three out of five. Um, to me, it could have been a little more scary, uh, and actually, it could have been more funny. They could have added a, a little more humor to it. Um, but like I said, that one dude who played uh, the stepdad's co-worker, he, he is pretty funny. Uh, so that's my take on it. Uh, little Evil, 3 out of 5. If you didn't see this movie, I'd recommend you check it out. If you have seen this movie, let me know what you think. But if you made it this far in the review, I hope you did. I said it's a special one because... I'm actually in this movie. Listen, calm down, chill out, relax. I'm an extra. They shot this movie like an hour from where I live. And if you've been watching my channel ever at all, you know I was in a, I was an extra as a Nicolas Cage, in a Nicolas Cage movie. And I was kind of upset because all you can see is my damn elbow. Which is bullshit. But you know, that's part of the game. So I'm going about to shoot another video talking about my experience uh, as an extra in this movie. But yeah, I'm actually in the movie. I'm like 12 minutes into this movie. So if you watch it, look around 12 minutes. It's a scene where these cops get out the cop car. And there's a black dude with a little baby twist in his hair. In the background, you see me waving traffic. That's me. All right? But anyway, I'm about to shoot a video. So check that out. Uh, seriously, check out uh, Little Evil. And like I say, if you've seen it, which you should, because I'm in it for like five seconds. Let me know what you think.